so I devised a challenge where I will be making a score for my up and coming units game uh, in 30 minutes. So this will be the battle theme and I'll have 30 minutes to make a fully fledged song. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start the timer in 3, 2, 1, and time has started. Okay, so first let's start with the baseline. How about this simple movement? Let's make it a little bit syncopated and put a staccato on it. How about a little bit more detail? Ooh, we could do a very nice Ostrado figure with this. Perfect, I think that works. Let's copy this into bassoons and low brass. Bassoons seems to be too prevalent, so we're gonna raise it up a fifth and bring in an octave down. I like this a lot, we're gonna do the same for the bases. I think we can bring this on later later, so let's let's keep it the way it is for now. We're not gonna use the contra basis just yet. Maybe we can do a trill on the us. Okay, copy that over. We can copy to the clarinets. Raise it a fifth. Seven. Sorry, that was a six. Um, in this case, I think it's better if it's all bulbs. And it would be nice if we could do a Passando. I think that works slightly better, so we're going to keep that. That works just fine. Okay, let's check how much time I have. I got 23 minutes left. Okay. So we go, do you need to speed this up a little bit? That works. Let's. So first, the first iteration we're gonna 
put this in the French War. We're gonna make this go. We should actually add dynamics. We're gonna double this in the violins, but make it slightly quieter. That sounds pretty nice. We're actually gonna bring this down a dynamic though. And we can double this in the strings. Just gonna make it third. Or if, you want, if you're feeling a little bit more epic, we can make this fist. I think thirds work much better, so let's do that. Repeat this. Make the strings go a little bit higher. So you see that this note is yellow, um, it means that it's hard to play for that musician. However, uh, since I do play the French horn, I know that any intermediate uh, French horn is we would play this. And since we're not writing this for um, an actual orchestra, I think this is just fine. But it's it's good to note because like if you put like this this many high notes. On the violin, it might be hard for a average violinist to do it. While if you put this on a flutist, it will be pretty easy for an average flutist, given that they have good air support. Copy the supporting part for the oboes. Make the sense of forte and maybe add some trilling. Let's see if that sounds better. Hmm, not so much. Bring this lower and put it down a little bit. Now that's good texture. And I have this idea for a melody. One, two, three, one. There we go, I think that works. Perfect, okay. Double this in the strings. Add a third. Perfect. Put this on. In order for this to work, we're going to make the winds a little bit quieter. Make the strings a little bit louder. And we're going to double this on the violas as well. And make everything quieter at the end. Do a very nice swelling effect. 
copy this over. Start it on this, so let's raise this up. And why not add the same crescendo effect for the first one? I think we can actually repeat this one. Uh, make sure we add the ostinato as well. And this one change it up a little bit. So just a slight little change, but adds way much, way more color. We're going to be adding a French horn part and a trumpet part. The trick is that this this is gonna have the original part. And this one is not gonna have swelling. Classic mess forte. I have four minutes left. So it does work, which is good. Actually, only raise these two. Well, I do want that to be. Uh, yeah. And then copy this. to the original ending where it ends on an F and it would be cool to end on like so we're gonna copy this over it's like and don't add the second one something like this Oops, wrong way. This goes there. Goes up. This one is fine. Yeah. I actually do that here. That makes more sense. And cut off. Perfect. Okay, so that seems to be fine. Got 30 seconds left, so. I'm going to see if I could do a very quick snare part. Eight seconds. Oh no. We're just going to... Ah, okay. It seems like I am out of time. So we're just gonna finish this up real quick. Yeah, so let's hear how it sounds.
I mean, not the best score I made, but in 30 minutes, that's that's pretty nice, I think. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this will be for my unit game, so make sure you stay in tune for game updates such, such as those.